Good morning, gents. It's SBG here on this Saturday morning. Two days ago, I made a video about women producing MGTOW content. And I just want to make a brief video this morning about another issue that I feel is uh, kind of related to that. Um, this is just not really hating on other MGTOW. It's just what I'd call some constructive criticism that I'd like to offer. I've noticed that with some MGTOW content producers, at the start of their videos, they have pictures of very attractive women. Um, I really don't understand why guys do this. Um, if you're supposed to be going your own way, why would you put a photo of a very attractive woman at the start of your video? Um, if we're supposed to be going our own way, we should not be giving women attention and any sort of ego satisfaction. Um, but I've noticed that a few guys are guilty of this. I'll just give you a few brief examples. Um, Sunrise Hoodie, Sandman, Howard Dare, and there are many others. And I've noticed that often the woman is of Asian appearance. There is a photo of an attractive Asian woman at the start of these videos. So what I'd call this is, I'd call it subconscious simping. So um, do these guys subconsciously think that an Asian woman uh, might be different to a Western woman? Maybe they feel these women are um, traditional or submissive on a subconscious type of basis. Well, I can tell you I've lived in China, I've lived in Thailand, and basically um, all women are the same, the um, female nature. I lived in China for over seven years, and I can tell you that in that time, I only met about three women who I would consider to be a Nawalt. Um, the same in Thailand, uh, China, all these Asian countries, most of the women are the same. Um, they're very cold, calculating, clinical, and most of the relationships are based upon money and expediency, like what can they get from a man. So it's basically the same um, anywhere. I used to work with a guy in China from England, and um, he said to me that in the case of the Chinese women in Nanning, where we both used to work, he said, the hardware's great, but the software's fucked. So yeah, sure, the women have um, great bodies. Some of them are very pretty, very attractive, but um, their personality is terrible. They are self-serving. They're just out to get whatever they can from men. And it doesn't matter if you are um, a very attractive guy, if you're an ugly guy, all these women really care about is money. And back in 2012 or 2013, which I would consider to be my I was still in the blue pill simp mode back then. Um, I certainly didn't have anything to uh, do with MGTOW. I didn't even know about MGTOW back then. Um, one day I said to this British guy, um, I should lose um, three or four, five kilos, and that will make me more attractive to these Chinese women. And um, he just said to me, don't bother, mate, because um, they don't give a shit if you're slim, medium build, uh, well built, uh, they just care about the money. And um, for the majority of women over there, I would say that is the case. So um, once again, it is a little bit annoying to see these guys who are making videos with pictures of uh, very attractive women, especially Asian women at the start of their videos. And uh, I don't really understand why guys do this and they shouldn't be doing it because in reality, it is a form of um, simping and um, giving these women attention that they don't deserve. And um, I've even heard some people criticizing MGTOW and they say that if these guys are really going their own way, why do they have pictures of pretty women at the start of their videos? And um, in a way, that is valid criticism and um, I agree with it and I can't really understand it. Anyhow, guys, let me know what you think about this issue. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.